Good day viewers, uh, welcome to another success story here uh, from Caribbean Chemicals. This morning we're in Tabak Tabaki with Mr. Simeon Noriga, son of Peter Noriga. And Mr. Simeon wants to share with us this morning, you know, how they were able to grow a uh, worm-free uh, cabbage crop, you know, from the beginning to the end. Uh, the cabbage crop usually lasts roughly about 60 days, 2 months. And you know, from the interception of when they transplant the cabbage plants in the ground, uh, only with the harvest, the major problem, any cabbage, cauliflower uh, grower really face really is a worm problem. Diamondback mud uh, is the major issue and diamondback muds usually tend to be a little bit more active in the evening time. They tend to lay eggs and when the eggs hatch the young larvae uh, is what really causes you know all the damage. And when those those young um, larvae hatch usually what they see is what we call I was referred to as see-through or a sort of plastic effect you notice on the leaf a sort of window. Uh, this is how you know that you know well the worm has hatched stop the larvae them at that stage you want to prevent them you know from eating the media and you know, the cabbage and cauliflower as you know this this field has cabbage has cauliflower has melanjan more commonly put in my hand and you know with all these different uh, variety of crops inside here you know the pressures that insect uh, would be a bit high you want to make sure it's spraying properly so Mr. Simeon without any further ado uh, just tell your viewers you know what it is you are using Often you are spraying, how it is you are doing this to maintain a pain. Yes, I got it. Well, two to four weeks, I started mm -hmm. using pirate and zantari, which was one teaspoon of the pirate and one teaspoon of zantari full yalan. Alright, so you started off in the early part of the cabbage uh, using pirate and using zantari. Yes, to control wounds. Yes, right. But the major time when worms started stepping into the field, uh, usually this happened when the cabbage started to started started fold. fold. Alright, good. So at that point in time, they would have started using the, the organic. Yes. Alright, so you want to tell us you know, how, how you're how often you're spraying, how you're mixing this organic? I was spraying once every week and I was applying two teaspoons per gala together with the fire and zantari. Okay, so it's just a combination of the organic, the zantari, yes. and pyrethan also as well. Yes. Alright. So once a week uh, spraying and they will be able to control and show uh, worm problems as well. Yes. Now I know uh, folks, organic is a new uh, name derived 100% organic uh, insecticide uh, from TAD. Uh, this product uh, really is, is, like I said, it derived from, from a plant, uh, neem, and it really ceases the, the, the mud from feeding, the worms from feeding, it prevents the worms and them from molting, so it, it controls them and prevents them from being able to damage the cup outside here. Did you notice any sort of damage? You know, do you think that the organic was able to stop them from feeding? Well, the was able to stop them from feeding. But you did, you told me, you know, the one or two weeks I was passing, you always see it, one or two more in the field. Yes, but it wasn't able, it wasn't able to feed. Coming down close down to the end of the cabbage, I mean, we, you all harvesting cabbage right now. You all have almost cut out most of the, the, the cauliflower right now on the field. Um, you was using more of the organic you mentioned coming down to the end. Yes. Right, at the same rate? Yes, same rate. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, I know you wanted to show us you know, how, how clean the cabbage really was. Um, you want to show the viewers and how you have been able to maintain such a clean cabbage. Yes. Come on. Right. So we are another important point to note is that you know when you have a thin cabbage, the worm problem uh, really tends to be more on the lower side of the cabbage on the other side. And that is because when you're applying uh, insecticides, most of the insecticides tend to be you know to the top and they're not able to, to get on the underside. Right? But as you notice the organim, the Santari, excellent products uh, for worm control. Uh, Zantari as well is a biological insecticide. So you know it was an excellent choice. I want to comment here on that Mr. Simeon. Excellent choice in the Ogani and Zantari coming close to harvest. We know this is a, a fresh producer as a as home consumer. So thank you very much Mr. Simeon for your time this morning. And I know you have to go back to harvesting.